It's hard to describe it really. When someone's saying, you know, be prepared, you're never really prepared for what you're walking into. And I mean, I've got to be honest, how the team were working in the building as it was, was anybody's guess. I mean, even just health and safety wise, it was a nightmare. I think I tripped on the stairs um, on that first visit and just thought, we've got to do something here. We've got to bring everybody together that we can and we've got to make this happen. It's not just about the council funding and we realise that. We realise the council have only got so much money, but there's other key funders within this city and within this environment uh, of Hull and East Yorkshire that we need to get down here now to see what hard work we've done to make sure that these guys are still here to go out there and pick up the pieces uh, in a community that in some cases is broken. So it's day one at the Whole Families Project and here we are, the Smile Foundation, helping another great local charity. Um, we came across the Whole Families Project just over a year ago now uh, and they was working in quite an atrocious building that really wasn't conducive to the work that they was doing out in the community. Um, as a Smile Foundation we know what a difference it makes to work in a building um, and an environment that actually fits what you're trying to achieve and also helps you do your job rather than restricts you from doing your job. As we've always said, the Smile Foundation is not just about giving money, it's about giving tools, resources, skills and time. And this is another perfect example of what a difference the Smile Foundation and our partners make. This started off being a bit of a touch up and a painting job um, about six, seven months ago. And we're now looking at about a £70,000 refurbishment of a, a very old and tired building. Um, we're sat here in, in one of the rooms that's going to be completely refurbished. We've got Morgan Sindel and Holtons, the main providers, here delivering on day one uh, with a team of volunteers and a host of all other businesses mucking in and getting this ripped out, ready for us to get back into a great state of repair for the guys from the whole family project to get back in and do what they do best. There's two of the esteemed projects either side of the whole families project building on Greenwood Avenue that have brought to life the community and have made an impact on the children and now they're making an impact with the whole families project within this area as well. So as well as refurbing the rooms, we're actually changing the whole facility round a bit. They had no disabled access and no disabled facilities. So the kitchen, which was the kitchen, which was being used downstairs, uh, although in a bad state of repair again, will now become a disabled toilet. And the facility upstairs, which was the toilets, will now become the kitchen with a new kitchen sponsored and donated and fitted. Outside, um, obviously we want to make sure that families are as comfortable as possible when they come and visit the project. So we're putting down some fake grass so there's no maintenance there, knocking down a few outbuildings and making sure that when you're out, out in the garden at Whole Families Project, you feel like you're in a little oasis. We're on day five and uh, things are going well, thanks to a huge amount of support from a number of suppliers. We've uh, upped or doubled the number of men and women on site. Um, so we've got lots more joiners, plasterers, painters and decorators in and things are starting to, to come back to life. And we're starting to make it look like uh, a, a premises that people would want to be in again. Well, since starting there's been uh, numerous challenges to try and get overcome on the project. Obviously labour resources, material resources, obviously obtaining all the different items but uh, up to now we're keeping on to programme. We're progressing well and making improvements every day into what we're trying to achieve. Key changes uh, over the last couple of days has been we've, we've completely ripped out the garden now as well. Um, so that's out to the bare bones. Uh, so we start putting in, in, in the final fixings for the garden and trying to make it look like a nice environment for people to be in. Uh, we've also got, like we said, the electrics and the, and the gas uh, and the plumbing, all the first fixings in. With this project and this type of project, it's all about the time scales and the material resources there. Obviously, usually you get all these items on lead times and obviously getting into people's work scale. 
I mean, we're calling people up with about one day's notice, two days notice, and it, obviously it's hard to get people in at that notice, but everyone's committed, everyone's wanting to get it done within the time scale. And Luckily, we've got a good supply chain and contractors behind us to get it done. So the next three or four days um, are incredibly vital because we need to get it to a point where we are ready to decorate the building. We've got things on order, we've got windows coming in and from EYG, we've got the shutters coming in as well. These things have to go in on a certain day. If we don't get everything else done, uh, they can't go in. done quite a lot of work recently. Uh, I'll show you around and we'll see what we've done. But as you can see in this room, um, we've progressed with the decorating quite a lot. Uh, we've got all the feature walls and all the uh, gloss work done. This room's now ready for the uh, carpeting to start being laid tomorrow and all the uh, vinyl prints for the quotes start getting fitted over the weekend. Yeah, so this room, uh, the new kitchen area, this is due for the flooring to be laid this afternoon. Um, we're just awaiting the kitchen to be delivered and the final decoration in there and uh, that one again that's near enough complete and will be done by the end of the week. Right, this is the front small office, again it's the same situation, this is due for all the furniture to be delivered on Thursday because it's got um, fixed benching in this one. Uh, the, all the carpet's going to be laid tomorrow right through and the decorating's finished in this room so it's just awaiting for the carpets. Right, in this room we're currently uh, just finishing the decorating as you can see, it's just a slight stage behind the uh, previous room, but again, this is due for the carpet to start being laid tomorrow and all the vinyl prints again to start over the weekend. As you can see down here, this is the uh, new disabled toilet. This is uh, a bit further behind than upstairs, but it's, again, it's all on schedule to be completed for the end of the week. The uh, first cut of decoration will be done today. Sweeping through the lower floor, as you can see this one's starting to progress a little bit further than the disabled toilet. The uh, decoration started in here uh, and hopefully it should be near enough complete by the end of the day. All the uh, new light fittings have been fitted throughout and the electrical works just getting completed. I think we got to bed about 2 o'clock this morning and then up at 7 to come and get the van for the move in the whole family's project so we're on route to Andrew Jackson's listers with a whole host of items, furniture, stationery, you name it, to put back in ready for the big reveal on Monday. It's on too, so. Yep. Walking through the, the well the eight floors, nine technically floors of Andrew Jackson's old building. Uh, it's quite quite eerie in some ways because it, it looks as if they just literally up and left yesterday. Uh, pens, pencils, rulers, sports equipment, and photographs of their history. They literally was allowed to take what we needed for whole families, and it's given them a fantastic start for, for all the office equipment that we need. Uh, full van load. Time to go. Well, our, our roots are on Greenwood Avenue, we're, we've been here for quite a long time now and the local community knows us really, really well uh, and a lot of the work we do is passed on by word of mouth. We work with a lot of families on, on this area generally who sort of say to other families, yeah, we've worked with them, we've had a really good experience, they've really helped and supported us. So we get an awful lot of people knocking on our door or we just see the sign and see some of our posters outside and think, oh, I'll, I'll pop in and see how they can help. So we didn't really want to move to uh, you know, a really posh, snazzy office uh, somewhere in the centre of town because we just wouldn't have that connection with the community anymore. We're on Greenwood out in Hull, uh, outside the Hull Families Project, which is what's going to have just a lick of paint, have a bit of a change-up. But we've got 
two very surprised people stood outside at the moment. We've got Keith Wardell and Beth Allen with me. We've just stepped out of a car and have got faces on them. Their jaws have dropped. <laughs> We're waiting to go inside. This building was going to have, as I say, just a lick of paint, but it's had a little bit more done to that. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. How are you feeling? Very excited. Very excited, yeah. <laughs> As you're going in, just describe how you're feeling. We're going through the door. <laughs> Very excited, I can't wait to see. <laughs> if you think about families and everything that families go through in their daily lives, all the different pressures and all the different conflicts and, and problems that they have, we as a project sit with that family and we work through their problems with them. Um, it's not just about relationships, it's about any of the other kind of problems that they, they go with. There's, there's bereavement, there's education problems, there's, there's economic factors that come into it, the unemployment. All of these different issues we look at as part of the family, rather than, like many organisations, focusing on one particular area. From the first thing this morning, it was uh, just a massive high. To see what we've achieved within the past two weeks is incredible. I mean, it got to the point during last week where it seemed to be unachievable, but we got there. Uh, extra effort pushed in by everybody who just wanted to get this done for today. I can't believe how many people have come together in such a short space of time and just completely overhauled the building. It just looks incredible. We just can't, don't know how to thank people enough, do there's, there's so yeah, many people, just can't believe yeah. it. This is the thing, that it's not just about the renovation of the building, it's the fact that these people have got together have seen the work that we're doing, believed in the work that we're doing and actually shown their support like this, which again gives you such a feeling inside, motivates you so much, you, where you felt you might have been sort of um, getting down a bit and thinking, mm. are we on the right track here? If something like this happens, it puts you right back up there. Mm. When I uh, was stood in the back room with them all waiting, uh, it was a tense moment knowing everyone was out there waiting. And as soon as obviously they all went up and everyone applauded, they, you could just see the uh, expression on Keith and Beth's face that they was overwhelmed by what everybody had done. It was a brilliant moment and just overwhelming. It was a very emotional moment. So to be back in this room, um, exhausted, um, really, really happy um, that we've done a fantastic job for the whole family's project. The guys here have put incredible effort in. Um, everybody who's played the part have transformed this room and the whole premises into somewhere where I'd be proud to work of and I think anybody would be proud to work of. To be standing outside this morning with the shutters down um, and just let them open the shutters and see what they've got to work with. How I've not cried yet, I don't know, but let me sit in the corner and I'll be, uh, I'll be crying away. You know, we, there's so many pieces of the jigsaw out there in the community at Hull and East Yorkshire and what the Smile Foundation is incredible at is bringing those pieces of the jigsaw together to make a picture like we're sat in today. Um, and I'm incredibly proud to be the charity manager of the Smile Foundation. I've really sort of, yeah, I've stripped some wood chip, um, did a couple of days on that. Um, I sort of spent all my time ringing around, getting donations in, people that, you know, we've never contacted before have just helped out with various bits and pieces. In some ways, you know, the hard work begins now for, for Keith and Beth, but also for us, we've, we've now got them a premises where they're proud to be working in, but also where we're proud to bring people around and show them what Whole Families Project do. We've got to get people to understand exactly what the Whole Families Project do and their importance on this community. Uh, we've got to get them more funding in. We've got to give them the tools, like these fantastic tools I've got in each of these rooms, to continue and do the job for the 400 plus families they're working with already. It make the world of difference. I'm still in shock at walking into the building. It doesn't even look like the same building. It's as if someone's just knocked it down and built it up from scratch again. It just made the world of difference. Before, nothing worked properly. It was dangerous in areas. <laughs> Uh, just coming into work, the motivation of coming into work in this office is just going to be absolutely incredible. Yeah. The garden's, tr the garden's I'm tremendous. Still it's in, gar I'm still in shock at the yeah, garden. The garden's <laughs> the you see, when, we, when families do come in, some people bring toddlers and we'll be able to sit outside. Uh, yeah. You know, we'll be able to meet with them. Uh, even, you know, to the point, you know, when they come and talk to us, they're coming in and they're making a referral to us and they're, they're, they're obviously 
desperate de desperate people who've got desperate situations when they, when they ask us for the help. Um, to be able to sit down with them and sort of um, in a nice cosy room and then sort of say well we can even go into the garden or your child can play in the garden well, well let's talk out there mm. and it's so informal is, is the best approach uh, that we could mm. possibly give to the families. And then we've got various other pickups throughout the day. Ooh, I've just cut somebody up, which is always good fun. Um, nearly killed somebody. <laughs> Work's progressing well. Uh, I'll show you around a few bits what we've uh, cracked on with since the last time we've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sun shines through my window, the stains the kitchen floor. This is my first project to manage by myself, mainly, anyhow never mind on a quick, uh, tight deadline as this one was. So it's an incredible achievement to, uh, to get. And it's gone. <laughs> yeah. You name it, we want to make sure that when we walk out of this building, they're, they're ready to move forward for the next year. Is that all right? <laughs> it's full of steam. I don't want to look at the camera, do I? It's full of steam ahead.